tycoon, nothing is more important than your animals. Every species in this menagerie is delightful, but unlike the original Zoo Tycoon games with PC, the Xbox One version's poorly laid out menus and even worse connect functionality make them hard to enjoy. Ten training missions teach you everything you need to know about running your own zoo. It also gives you a taste of the clunky menus used to conduct zoo business, no matter which of the three modes you're playing. Their sound effects and extra animal facts are pleasant, but that's about the only nice thing I can say about them. Even something as simple as moving from one build option to another is aggravating, and building multiple instances of the same item isn't allowed either. So if you place one tree and want to place a second, you're forced to go back through the menus every time. Plopping down new locations automatically adds the most accessible paths for your guests to get there, which, while convenient, takes away some creative freedom. Considering I'm supposed to be making the zoo of my dreams, it's annoying that I'm unable to decorate how I please. I also felt really rushed. Outside of the tutorial, time scenarios only give you 15 to 45 minutes to complete everything on a checklist, sometimes leaving little time to sit back and enjoy your work. Even Zoo Tycoon's noble animal conservation efforts fall flat, because the research system is the worst part of this simulation. In campaign and challenge modes, you have to research just about everything, including animals, concessions, facilities, decorations, scenery, exhibits, all the way down to how you want to advertise your zoo, before you can build or do it. Researching can take anywhere from 5 seconds to 2 minutes, but you never know how long until after you select it, and you can only research one thing at a time. Waiting for a lion exhibit I want to finish researching so that I can research the lion, as well as all of the individual enrichments one at a time, is a major frustration. I expected campaign mode to roar louder than the others, but its 20 levels all feel too similar to one another, and to the tutorial, so boredom sets in quickly. And you'll only unlock a couple of decorations in a location to use in the other two modes. Challenge mode is about strict resource management peppered with a few extra objectives, but not exactly challenging. Freeform mode is the only place where Zoo Tycoon spreads its wings and refreshingly lets go of the confines of Mayan research. The only goals here are to enjoy yourself, the animals, and build whatever you want at your own pace, and progression comes at a rewarding rate. You and up to three friends can work together in any of the three modes, but unless you're using headsets, it can be hard to coordinate. Everyone can help with tasks for completion, so getting objectives done is easier than ever. It's also fun to ride around with friends and buggies. Yet you're still only allowed to research one thing at a time between everyone. So having all your friends waiting around for certain things to finish researching can be lame. Again though, nothing is more important than the animals, and in theory, Connect offers new ways to play with them and build your zoo. They're a disappointment. Connect interactions only work for specific animals, and the camera didn't always pick up my movements when trying to feed or wash my animals. At least the facial recognition is incredible when it works. I loved playing with my baby chimps, but it's always faster and easier to use the controller. Zoo Tycoon aims to be educational and entertaining for kids of all ages, and in some instances it succeeds. While the animals are gorgeously detailed in their own right, learning about them and creating an enriching environment for the cuddly critters isn't always presented in an enjoyable way. For more on Zoo Tycoon and other virtual animals, stay on IGN. And now, let's wash an adorable bear. Yeah.